welcome, welcome to this monthly horoscope for Taurus for the month of October 2013. What is happening? Well, there is a lunar eclipse during uh, the 18th or around the 18th of October. And that lunar eclipse is very important and I have made uh, a separate video. If you want to know more uh, detail about this particular eclipse, you can find the link below here, the video. Now, but what is important for, for Taurus? Well, the month starts off with the sun that is going to make, um, uh, uh, that is going to trigger the Pluto Uranus square. So the sun will be in Libra. And for you, that is the sixth house. So it all starts, the first week of the month starts with sixth house issues for you that may prompt you into change for those uh, sixth house issues. What is that? That is for a lot of people work, the day-to-day -day stuff that they do or their health. Something may come up that changes your um, routines towards health because you want to improve them. So this Pluto Uranus square is about uh, transformation and liberation and it's, it's, it's hitting that sun there in that sixth house. So really prompting you to do something about it. And after that prompt, the energy shifts towards the eclipse in uh, Aries at 25 degrees, which is your 12th house, which is the house of the unconscious, which is um, the house that is hidden, which is, I call it, mostly the house of our blind spots. Now, for you Taurians around that time, uh, it is so interesting because there are going to be things that um, new ideas coming up and new inspiration coming up from a very unconscious level because the energy of this lunar eclipse is all about new ideas and good ideas. So it's a good thing to listen to it and to examine it, um, even if it's in a dream, because this is also the 12th house. And it will prompt you into the need to take action, because it's in Aries, and the moon in Aries need, only feel safe when they take action. So it's very different from the Taurus energy, because I know that Maybe a lot of Taurians will um, change their routines because Taurus is a fixed sign, a bit the same like Scorpio, and it's very attached, especially when you've got a moon in Taurus, to its, its routines it has and its habits. So it could be that something has triggered you that you are going to change that for the better, for your own good. But that needs a lot of uh, awareness and a lot of maybe pieces of you that you didn't know about yourself come to the surface now. And that is really very um, effective and very good for you because then you can really change uh, a, a certain situation. Now after that, after this eclipse, um, at the 22nd, there is a Mercury retrograde happening in your seventh house of relationships. So whatever has uh, prompted you to change or to take your pioneer Aries step towards the change that you wanted to do, maybe to do with work or to do with the things that I just mentioned. Um, it has also uh, prompted you into thinking or rethinking your relationship. Or um, maybe you're saying, I'm, I'm not having a relationship. Well, even thinking about that, that why you're not having a relationship? Is it because you need a break? Or is it already maybe 10 years that you're not having a relationship and you need to uh, understand why that is? Because you want to change that. Um, another thing could be that you spend a lot of time of thinking how you can communicate differently with that other person who's close to you. And we all know that communication in relationships is key for every relationship and specifically for an intimate uh, loving uh, relationship with another significant person. So the communication will be also very deep, very Scorpio-like, because it's in the sign of Scorpio. So a lot of thinking on, on that. 
maybe a new relationship uh, that you recently had and that you're now thinking about the best way to communicate, to not make the same mistakes that you maybe did uh, um, before that relationship you had. So um, it's a very interesting month for the Taurians. And the stone that I associate with this energy, especially of the Aries energy, is um, this Yaspis or Jaspis uh, stone. This is a stone that is very good for courage and for taking action if you're feeling a bit low and you're feeling a bit down or if you feel that you don't have the courage to do something that is very needed. So um, again, if you were um, having already lots, tons of energy, you don't really need to wear this because it can make you even a bit too choleric if you are already quite uh, having a bit of a temperament there. Anyway, I wish you a very good month, you Turians. Uh, if you want a private consultation that is possible, click on the links below. I also have put the uh, video of the sun in aspect to Pluto and Uranus because this aspect happens the first week. So have a lot of, um, have a lot of fun, have a lot of um, good energy going on during the month of October and see you next month. Bye bye.